an arm workout for today's Feel Great in 28 day workout with Fit for Mum and me, Melissa. Um, we are going to warm up quickly for four minutes and then we're going to grab some weights. We're going to use a bit of body weight, but I also want you to grab some weights. If you don't have any, then just grab some water bottles um, filled up, uh, not empty, uh, some tins, uh, bags of potatoes, bags of sugar, anything you can find that will help give you that little bit of resistance that we need to do some of the exercises. Another good thing to do is to fill a rucksack full of books if you really want to go for it, then do that because you can hold the whole thing. Um, but we're going to get going, so if you're ready, grab some water, grab, grab some room, get those weights and let's go. Okay, let's start with arm crosses today. So we're going to really work the upper body to the max this morning, this afternoon, this evening, whatever time it is that you're doing this workout with me today. So nice big smiles. We're going to get through this really quickly. So we've basically got a five minute roughly circuit that we're going to repeat a couple of times. So it's not a long um, session and then we'll throw some abs in at the end. That's it, lovely. So arms up and down. Let's sizzle those arms. So yeah, so you could do the workout once, twice, or three times through, okay? Your choice, depending on how much time you've got. Then you've got a little section of five minutes of abs. And again, you can tag that on later in the day if you want to. You can do it all in one go to get it out of the way. Skip circles. But the beauty of it is, is that you can think to yourself, it's quick. In and out. You can either make it 30 minutes, you can make it 20 minutes, you can make it 15 or 10. Other way. Either way, it's your workout. Just do something. Just don't do nothing. There's no excuses when you've got a workout built this way. All right, let's bend our knees down and up. Nice and slowly. Just warm up those kneecaps. Lovely. Now we're going to do the same thing. Keep going with the squat. But we're going to, as we come up, we're going to shoulder roll. So squat and shoulder roll. Squat, shoulder roll. Good. Keep it going. Down and round. Lovely, well done. Nearly there. We're going to go back to those arm crosses. Here we go, from the top. That's it, lovely. Don't forget that smile, all important smile, to get you through your workout today. Cross in front, swing open. We really want to swing nice and wide so we open up those chest muscles, squeeze the shoulder blades together and back really work. Lengthen that spine. Stand nice and tall. Lovely. Let's go for those arm scissors up and down. You got it. Well done. Keep going. Arm scissors up and down. Good. Keep going. Keep going. Reach. Stretch those fingertips up to the ceiling. Ten more seconds here. We're going to our hip circles. And we'll do our little squats, little squats with the shoulder roll, and we're all good. Lovely. Let's go into those hip circles round. That's it. Good. Keep going. Lovely. Nice and big. Really make it big. Tip the pelvis forward and under, and then push it back behind you. Work through that lower spine at the same time. Go the other way. Keep going round. Lovely. Five more seconds. Keep going, keep going. Lovely. Let's squat down and up. And then halfway through, we're going to do those shoulder rolls down and up. Good. Keep it going. Nearly there. So as you come up out of this squat, we're going to roll our shoulders backwards. Shoulder roll. Squat down, shoulder roll. Down. Roll, good, keep it going. Down and roll. Three more. Two and one, lovely, nice warm up. Okay, so let's, we've loosened up. Let's grab those weights. We're gonna get straight into our weights part of our workout, our strength part. Arms first, and then we'll fit the abs in at the end. You ready? Go grab your weights, let's do it. 
Okay guys, are you ready? We're going to start with some basic press-ups. So we're going to keep the workout fairly basic today, but we're really going to sculpt those arms, okay? So into the shoulders, chest, back a little bit, and into the biceps and triceps. So if you're ready, come down to a press-up. We're going to do 30 seconds worth. So you can do them from your knees, head forward of the hands, or if you can, come up onto your toes and do a full press-up. It's only 30 seconds. So take your time, lower down, exhale as you push up, Inhale as you lower, exhale as you push up. Squeeze those legs nice and tight. Drive the feet down to the floor. Push the knees up. Squeeze your butt. Lift and lower. And you're done. Well done. Good stuff. Okay, moving on. Grab your weights or whatever you've got to hand. We're going to do a bicep curl, shoulder press. Okay, so down and move as you can see in there. Bicep curl, shoulder press, and down. So you can see the top of the move actually in there. So we're going to do this for one minute. So keep pressing down and up. Now, what, if you look at my reflection in the mirror, when I push up, you can see that my back stays completely straight. So I'm not swinging, I'm not swaying, I'm not leaning backwards. I'm just bringing those arms in. Elbows are locked into my side. Tummy is tight and we're pressing up. Good, make sure you've got a weight that feels taxing. So if you're holding onto that rucksack, you can be holding onto the top and the bottom part of it, and then you're just lifting it up, pushing it above your head. Good, two more. Push, down, last one. Lovely. Okay, now lean forward. You can do a bent over row. So nice flat back, you can see I'm sticking my bottom up, and back, and we're going to row. I want the hands to actually be palms facing each other, so it's a narrow row. Squeeze the elbows in to your sides, slide those shoulder blades together, and really open up the chest at the front, and squeeze. Lovely, we've got 60 seconds here as well. So 30 seconds to go, keep it going. Lovely, squeeze, and squeeze, good. Keep pushing those hips up and back. Squeeze them up and in. That's it, you've got it, well done. Slide the shoulder blades together. Pull, good. 10 more seconds. Big squeeze. Squeeze, good. Nearly there, keep going, keep going. Smile, five more seconds. Three, two, one, coming up. We've got another 60 seconds. We're gonna do a tricep overhead press. So if you can keep both weights in, then do, back nice and straight and still again. And we just bring the weights behind our head and we press up overhead. Now, if you're using that rucksack full of books, if you get tired, then you are gonna take a few books out. <laughs> Maybe in round two or three, but you're dropping, you're holding the top of the rucksack where the handles are and you drop it down behind you and you push it back up. That's it, keep going. Drop to a single weight if you need to. Don't sway your body. So nice and still, stand up straight. Keep it going. Lovely, you're nearly there, you've got 10 seconds to go. You can do this, keep going. Let's see what's next. Yes, keep it going, last one. And relax, well done. Okay, now we're gonna do a lateral raise. And so we're gonna just do 30 seconds. We're gonna lift the arms to the side. So they're down in front of you, and then lift up and out to the side. Now, what you wanna do here is hold the books in your hand, but not the rucksack. So books in your hand, or tins of food, or the water bottles if you haven't got weights. Lift out to the side and down. Lovely, now come down to the floor and lie on your back. Take your rucksack or your tins or your water or your weights in both hands and then drop it behind your head and push it up. So we bend the elbows, drop the weights down and push them up. Bend the elbows, drop the weights down, push them up. You keep going, just gonna check the foot. That's it, good. Keep going down and press straight. So we're straightening those elbows out, push into the back of the arm and really push it up. Squeeze into the back of those arms. Good, we've got 30 seconds left to go. Should be burning a little bit in there. That's it, good stuff. Well done, nearly done. Keep it going. Keep the tummy tight. 
exhale, you can drop it to one weight, or like I say, take some books out of your rucksack, just use the books, use one tin, one water bottle, I've dropped to one weight so you can see, last one, and push, well done, good stuff, all right, last exercise in our little circuit, staying down on the floor, we're going to do a chest fly, so the weights are up in front of us, we drop them out to the side, and we pull them back in. We want the weights to be over our chest and not over our face, okay? So take the weights wide, open up the chest and then bring them back in together. Wide, back in together. So you exhale down, inhale up. You're keeping your back nice and flat. Push that lower back into the floor. Push that middle back into the floor. Make sure that you're getting a nice contraction into those tummy muscles. Hit that pelvis slightly tipped back. It, lovely, keep going. Open out, bring in and close. Open up. Oh, my time has stopped. Keep going, guys. That's it. Good. Eight more seconds. And then we're going from the top. So you're going to start all over again with your 30 seconds of press up. So this is round number two. Six minutes. Let's go. Oh, me. Well done. Keep it going. Push. 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 So I'm doing it from my knees this time, but you can do it from your toes. Keep your hands back under your, make sure those thumbs are by the armpits. Exhale as you lift, inhale as you lower, drop the head forward of the fingertips, and we're done. Well done. Stand up, bicep curl, overhead press. Let's do it. Up, good, and down. Lovely, bicep curl press. So we've got a minute on this one. Remember to keep the body nice and still. Fairly wide foot stance, not too wide. Elbows into your side, press. Keep it going, push up. Good work, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. Push up, lovely. I don't know what's just happened to my music, but it seems to have gone <laughs> very calming. I'll change it in a second. Keep it going, keep it going. Lovely, keep going, guys. Just need to flip the timer. Push up, tummy nice and tight. All the time you're pushing these weights above your head. If you're pulling your rib cage down, keeping your abs tight to keep your back straight and supported, you're working the abs at the same time. It's a great sculpt, but also good for those tummy muscles. Well done, leaning forward into that bent over row. Keep those weights parallel, fingertips facing each other. Slide those shoulder blades back and together. Good, keep it going, squeeze, squeeze. You keep going, I'm just gonna flip this music on, I don't know what's happened here. There we go. Likely it is, somebody upstairs in my house decided to put their music on, not knowing that we're in here, working hard at this. Keep it going, good, lengthen that neck, squeeze into the shoulders, and not into the neck. Lovely, 15 seconds to go, and we're into that overhead tricep press. So we're standing up straight, and we're pressing those weights up above our head. Keep it going, five more seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. Down, down, down. So again, look, you can soften the knees slightly, tuck the tailbone under. Tummy in nice and tight, drop the weights behind your head, and press. Down and press. Lovely. A minute at the whole time. And then you come to pressing heavy weights. Keep those abs in check. I'm gonna drop one weight down. Keep going. Same thing, I'm just dropping one weight as my muscles fatigue, and use one weight as I press up. Good, keep it going. Big smiles. 20 seconds to go. It's burning, but we can do it. Oh, come on, come on. Think of those lovely strong arms we're gonna have for these lovely summer days. Keep the back straight, tummy tight. Nearly there. Oh, one more. Oh, we did it, well done. Lateral reps. Just 30 seconds on this one. Lift, good, lift, and lift. Good, out to the side, slightly bent elbow. Weights together in front of you, and then lift to the side. 
lift. Good. Hold those abs tight. Make the abs strong. Keep it going. 10 seconds. Push. Five more seconds. Three, two, one. Lovely. Down we come. Into our skull crushers. Weights up above the face. And then we drop back either side of the shoulders. Down to your ears. And press up. Keep the elbows pointing towards the ceiling all the time. Just bend and then straighten. Try and straighten all the way up. Remember, you can take this down to one way. I'll show you. So it comes down and then we press back up. Hold either end of your weight or your water bottle or your tin or your book. That's it. Down and press. Keep it going. 30 seconds to go. Down and push. Push that weight straight up above your head and really squeeze into those triceps. Doing a good job, guys. Keep it going, keep it going. Push. That's it, 10 seconds. We're gonna finish on that chest fly. Good work. Oh, this is good, this is good, we're nearly there. So we've got a third set we're gonna do. Let's go into our chest fly. This is the end of the second set. We're gonna do a third set for those of you that want to. If you're fairly new to this, or you're just tired, hot, haven't got time, you've done as much as you want to do for today, you can forward on. Okay, so just forward on and miss this last circuit. It's six minutes. So if you forward on six minutes, then you'll get to the little ab section and you'll get to your stretch. Okay, so keep it going. And that's it, lovely. Well done. Nearly there. Good stuff. Excellent. Keep going, keep going. 10 more seconds. So those of you that are staying with me, we're gonna do it one more time. Into that third circuit. You ready? Coming up. So rolling over, I should say. Into those press-ups. Let's do it. We'll go straight to it. No rest. Head forward of those hands. 30 seconds of press-ups. Get that chest down between your thumbs. Head forward. Keep going. You're halfway already. Keep it going. Down and lift. You can do this. Six minutes. It's a six minute circuit. It's all we're doing. We've got five more seconds of the press-ups. Try one more. And up you come into your bicep curl. Overhead press. Come on, you can do it. Bicep curl. We did that workout last week. Let's go. Biceps, overhead press. Lovely. Keep it going. Got it. Lovely. So it's a minute on this one. All the way up overhead. Keep it going. 30 seconds to go. Put it in. Press it up. Don't swing the body. Keep your body nice and still. Pull those tummy muscles in really tight. Squeeze your butt. Fight to keep your upper body under control. Keep it still. That's it. You've got it. Well done. Keep it going. That's it. Nearly there. Five seconds is all we've got. Last one. Lean forward. Bend over row. Down. In. Down. In. Really open up your chest. Feel like you're putting your chest wide open. And then elbows come kind of in and together. In and together. So they disappear from your view. Do you see that? I can't see my elbows. Bring them so far back and together. Good. Keep it going. Lovely. Look out in front of you. Keep the back nice and flat. Pull the abs in tight. Keep it going. Keep it going. 30 seconds to go. Keep that forward lean. Keep that back strong. Straight and long. 20 seconds. You can do it. Keep going. 15 seconds. We've got that tricep overhead press this time. I'm going to start with one weight. So 10 seconds till we go there. Five more seconds. Come on guys, sculpt those arms. Last one. Lovely. Stand up right. Up above and press. Just going to make sure this is still recording. Good. Press and press. Good. Keep your head up. 
Make sure your head's not forward. You need to keep that head nice and straight on top of your spine. Don't lean forward. Too late on my timer. Keep going, you guys. Don't stop. That's it. We've got 30 seconds to go. Press and press. Lovely. Reach all the way up. Make sure you get those elbows really straight. You really want to squeeze into that tricep. Top of the upper arm, around the back, where those bingo rings develop. But we do not want press. 10 seconds. Come on, you can do it. Press. Press. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Well done. Lateral raise. 30 seconds lift. Keep your body nice and straight. Stand tall. Squeeze. Oh, I've heard this song for ages. I love it. Keep going. Push. It's always good if you've got a good song to keep going, hey? Oh, it's so warm in here this morning. I'm sweltering. Four, three, two, one. Onto your backs. Oh, skull pressure. Down. Press. 60 seconds here, guys. So if you need to drop the weight, make sure you drop it. That's it. Bend the elbows. The weights touch down either side of your head. If you've got one in each hand, I'll drop to one weight in a second so you can see. Here it goes. We can do the timer. That's it. Okay, so now it kind of comes to the top of my head as I press. That's it. Keep the shoulders down. Don't hunch your shoulders up to your ears. I know it's round three. It's getting hard, but you can do it. Keep going. 15 seconds to go. Sculpt those arms. Really push. Really push. Good. Come on, you can do this. You can do this. 10 more seconds. We've got that chest fly. It's the last bit in our little workout. We'll do some abs and then we're done. All right, take that other weight. And let's do that chest fly. Open out to the side and back together. Good. Keep the shoulders down away from the ears. Nice and wide. Let the elbows touch down. Hands don't necessarily touch down, but we're out as wide as our chest. Make sure you're out of chest height. Hands go out. Come back in. Elbows back to the top of the arms. Touch. The hands don't. Good stuff, guys. Keep those tummy muscles nice and tight. Keep your middle of your back pressed against the floor, basically your rib cage. Push it down, now squeeze those muscles. Got 20 seconds to go. You can do it. Keep it going, 15 seconds. Oh, I need to, you keep going, I need to just nudge the clock. Oh, 10 seconds. Come on, we got this. Eight seconds, push. Five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Awesome. Okay, stay where you are. Give me some crunches. Put your hands at your temples. That's your arms done. We're just going to do a few minutes of abs. I want you to crunch to start with. Basic crunch. Lift the head, neck and shoulders off the floor. Keep your elbows nice and wide. Don't pull on your head. Let your head relax back into your hands and just lift and lower. Lift. Good. Keep it going. Four more. Three. Two and one. Legs up, elbows to knees. Lovely. Get those legs right up above your hips and then bring those elbows in to touch your knees. Good stuff. Keep going. Lift and lift. Nearly there. Ten seconds to go. Then we're going to do one more minute and we're just going to keep crunching. Two more exercises. 30 seconds each. Ready? Put your feet flat. Now reach your right hand to your right ankle. Just keep going to the right. Lovely. Keep it going. Reach right down past the ankle. Go for the little toe. Other side. Left hand, left ankle. Reach and reach. Well done. Keep going. Reach. Reach. Good. Lift the head, neck and shoulders up off the floor. Nearly there, last one. Lift those legs again, last time, hips. Lift those hips up, use those lower abs. Turn your palms up so you don't cheat, push into the floor. Use your tummy muscles, lift. Good, 
Lift, keep going, 15 seconds. Push, and push. Keep going, 10 more seconds. Oh, we're so close, guys. Keep it going, five more seconds. Four, three, two, one, and relax. Well done, guys. Hug your knees into your chest. We'll have a very quick stretch, and then we'll be done for our workout today. Here we go. Hug those knees in. Keep your back nice and flat against that floor. Try and push your hips down, push your sacrum down, coccyx down, shoulder blades are down, neck is long. And then circle your ankles around. And the other way. Lovely. So you want to feel a little bit more rather than stretching your hips, although it will be. I want you to feel like it's stretching your back. So I want you to really lengthen it. Make sure your shoulders are on the floor. Make sure your lower back's on the floor, rib cage is down, but nice and long. Really lengthen that spine. Feel like someone's pulling your, your hips one way and your head the other. And lengthen it out, that's it. Lovely. Okay, we're gonna roll straight over onto hands and knees, and then sit back on our heels and walk our fingertips forwards and hold it there. Just keep walking your fingertips forwards, keep your hips down on your heels. And then you're going to come up slowly and just take your hands back behind you. Lift the hands away from the body, squeeze your shoulder blades together, open up the chest and stretch. Stretch, stretch, stretch through those arms. Lovely, lift the head, keep the back nice and straight. Good, now we're going to take our left arm across, grab just above our right elbow, keep the shoulder away from the ears, and pull our arm across before we start. Let's go on the other side. Step over the reach up and lean over to your right. Using the right hand and the elbow to ease that hand down between the shoulder blades and stretch through those triceps we worked so hard today. Now take a nice big reach up and then stretch the other side. Keep the head up, press your head back into your elbow. Keep the fingers in front, chin on the chest, open up the shoulder blades, stretching open your shoulders. Take the hands back again the other way. And take the arms up, stretch above you. Bring the hands behind your head, keep the elbows wide. Pull the elbows back. Good, now circle your wrists. And the other way. Lovely, give your arms a shake, circle your shoulders backwards. Shake, and you're done. Awesome, good job. Well done for your arms and wraps for today.